You know, the Father is absolutely amazing and is doing so much amazing work with each and every one of us in the realm of reconciliation. You know, there are some times that people basically, uh, you know, they kind of accuse, uh, but we thank God because the Father in himself said, and the accuser of the brethren has been hurled down. So now you can begin to understand the dimension of freedom that we've all been walking in. It's absolutely beautiful because I remember there was a there was a time I was in a sanctuary and there was this man I believe I've shared my story here before and this man basically hired a witch basically you know and uh, she was a prostitute as well uh, to come after me and my family only for the Lord to basically reveal because you know both of them were accusing and eventually the Lord was like hey I'm gonna show you some truth and eventually the truth was basically made manifest where I found out that the man you know he's married you know, with children and was sleeping with this prostitute at the same time and it's amazing because eventually the father said I'm gonna bring justice to the situation which means you know the man was working in witchcraft also with the witch but he said I'm gonna expose everything to the wife and eventually he's gonna lose the wife and the children that's the justice the father has laid upon this man I believe when I was in the synagogue of Satan after I left so it's a place where I want you to understand that the father the Bible declares that righteousness and justice is the foundation of the throne of God and we thank God for the justice of the Lord and it is for that reason I want to share this word with uh, someone by the name Olivia yeah, I want to share this word with you because I know sometimes, you know, in the path in which we've walked, it might not have been a pleasant past, but I want you to understand that the Bible says now the case is closed because there remains no what accusing voice, no of condemnation against you because he sees you and he has made you whole. And I just want to share this because I'm not going to go into too much details, but I believe this testimony that I'm sharing with you will basically resonate with you. And this is the testimony because I remember when I was at uh, university, right? And at uni, you know, everybody was basically, you know, when you're at uni, you're just doing whatever. And when I mean whatever, whatever. Yeah. So it was in a place where there was just so much, uh, uh, you know, where basically, you know, sometimes you play spin the bottle, which is absolutely wrong. And it's a place where, you know, uh, you get to understand the dimension of where people say, hey, truth or dare. And you're asking for lap dances or basically performing lap dance on people. And I believe that was the dimension I walked in in times past. You know, we're just basically playing around and lap dancing and all of those things. So it's a place where I want you to understand that this in itself, yes, the enemy continue to accuse. But I thank God because the person I believe, you know, that this was involved with, you know, they probably were working in, in witchcraft too. So it's a place where you have to understand that for your past, I believe that testimony <laughs> basically resonates with you, right, Olivia? But I want you to understand that all things have passed away and all things have become new. And the Lord is basically bringing you out of these accusations because you've left that past behind. Yes, you've left that past behind. And you are now in the dimension of the new. Because sometimes, you know, a lot of accusations like, you know, immorality and all of those things, they will come up. But the truth of the, re the reason why sometimes it comes up is not for, you know, it to condemn you. No, not at all. Majority of the time it comes, you know, for you to acknowledge it. And I believe I shared a testimony, you know, I believe I shared a testimony in the word as well. When I was talking about, uh, um, I believe it was, it's all about sex. There, there, I believe it is. And I was talking about sexual positions. You know, people basically, you know, they call it head or whatever it is, or blowjob or whatever it is, and all of those things. And sometimes the enemy brings it up. And it's not to basically accuse you, yes, and say, hey, you know, the enemy brings it up to accuse, basically, let's put it that way, yeah, but the father allowed it so that you can basically acknowledge it. Because you know why? We've all been there before. 
yes you know it's nothing it's not it's nothing to be shameful about the bible declares for every shame i will give you double yeah we've all been there before but the father is helping you to understand that i do not count your sins against you no not at all so sometimes when this happens is the lord basically bringing it up for you to acknowledge it because your sins are already forgiven so majority of the time the reason why it comes up is because he wants you to confess it to somebody. Yes, because he knows what you're going through. And he knows that, you know, you've let go of all of these things. But the Father is helping you to understand that I do not, as far as the East is to the West, my son, Jesus, basically, he, he went on the cross to remove all of this from you. So it is not me accusing you is the accuser of the brethren but it's a place where i am encouraging you, according to james chapter 5 and verse 16 that when you confess your faults to one another they will pray for you and you will be healed do you see that so the reason why the accusation might still be lingering is because you're yet to what to confess it and when you do you realize that it's all been taken care of the person prays for you and it is all said and done amen so olivia I want to speak to you for who you truly are in Christ Jesus. You are loved by the Father. Yes, you are beautiful. You are amazing. You are the blessedness of the Lord. Yes, and that is who you are because the Bible says, No, no man according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. So whatever dimension of lap dancing it has been in times past, yes, that is not who you are because you are a new creation a royal priesthood a chosen generation and you've been called out of darkness to shine his marvelous light and that is why you are the light of the world so i want you to understand right that if every person begin to look at you based on your past know who you are by the spirit because you're no longer there you're amazing because that's the new you and that is the real you christ that is the real you so i want you to march forward and continue to go forward in boldness and in the dimension of what the father has called you to walk in do you see that because eventually do you know what he's going to do he's going to really surround you with amazing people who are walking yes in the light that you are walking in now he's going to give you good friends that will encourage you because he says that what your sins i remember no more and to the point that he's going to heal you to the fact that wow you know did i really go through that and I want to basically encourage you to understand that sometimes the Lord allows, it might, it's not his will for you to do what you did, but sometimes the Lord will allow it. Yes, not because he wasn't ready to stop it, but because sometimes when you've come out of it, right, your testimony is going to be a tremendous miracle to so many people. Because when you begin to open your mouth and begin to share what you have been through, you will see that a lot of people will begin to come to Christ because of that testimony. Do you see that? So majority of the time, the accusation is not because of what you've done, but it's trying to get you not to share your testimony to bring deliverance to many other people. But by the very presence and the power of God, that is broken the accusation over your life. In the name of Jesus, you are whole, you're well, you're perfect, you're amazing, you're worthy. Yes, can I say that to you? You are worthy. That is who you are. And for that reason, your testimony is going to reconcile so many people. So majority of the time, why you went through it is to bring you yes to this beautiful dimension that you're in today and i want to honor you in christ because you're the blessedness of the father you are the glory of zion and i honor you this is a new beginning for you because as you confess it to the person the lord wants you to confess it to yes so it, it might not just be you i want to go and confess it to this person no but he will lead and direct you and as you confess it to them you will see the freedom and the liberty that comes through and by by that in itself as you begin to share your testimony testimony a lot of people are liberated do you see that that is why you can read in the scripture can i read this over you yes i want to read this promise the father said to read over you today it says in isaiah chapter 54 from verse 4 it says do not be afraid olivia you will not be put to shame do not fear disgrace you will not be humiliated you will forget the shame of your youth and remember no more the reproach of your widowhood for your maker 
is your husband. The Lord Almighty is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. He is called God of all the earth. Can you see? The Lord will call you back as if you were a wife deserted and distressed in spirit. A wife who married young, only to be rejected, says your God. For a brief moment, I abandoned you. But with deep compassion, I will what? Bring you back back so you can see that dimension and he has brought you back through christ jesus so welcome to a new beginning do you see that we love you because you are amazing so this is the hour i'm helping to understand according to romans 8 and verse 2 it says and verse 1 it says now the case is closed for there remains no what voice of condemnation against those who are in what union with Christ Jesus. Amen. Love you so very much because you're the presence of God. And I bless you with the mercy of God. I bless you with life. I bless you once again with the mercy of God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Blessings to you.